Hello everyone, my name is Julian. I'm an engineer with CAD Tools and today we're here to talk about the CAD shortcuts panel as well as some dimensioning hotkeys that you can use to speed up your workflows throughout all of CAD Tools. To get started, let's open up the shortcuts panel itself and to do that we're going to click Window, CAD Tools, and then go down to CAD Shortcuts. Now that we have the CAD shortcuts panel open itself, let's talk about auto dimensions. Auto dimensions give you the ability as a user to quickly and easily apply dimensions across an entire document or across selected pieces of artwork. To configure auto dimensions, we're going to click this more button and that is going to load this pop-up menu. The pop-up menu has everything you will need to describe what kind of dimensions you would like applied to what kind of artwork. For example, if we click these ellipses right here, and click the selection button, you will see that the dimensions are applied just to the selection. Alternatively, we can do the document and you will see the dimensions are applied to the entire document. Now that we've talked about auto dimensions, let's talk about presets. The idea of a preset in CAD tools is the idea that you as a user should be able to quickly and easily move between system settings across all of CAD tools. That is gonna include things like systems of measurement, points of precision, labels that you have set up, and even down to the Terminator styles you have in your dimensions. So we can look at our two different avenues of approach here. One is built-in presets, which are gonna be our commonly used systems that apply to various industries. And then we also have our My Presets. The way My Presets works is it gives you the ability to basically take a snapshot of all of the settings that you have and save them to a name. So you can toggle between different work settings you have for different projects. Alternatively, if you fall into one of these larger built-in preset categories, we can do things like use basic engineering. And that is going to give you a basic engineering setup, which has two units of measurement across all dimensions and so on and so forth. Okay, now that we've gone over everything in the CAD shortcuts panel, let's talk about those dimensioning hotkeys we mentioned in the beginning of the video. To do that, let's get rid of this artwork and let's draw a simple rectangle. Okay, with this, let's grab the universal dimensioning tool and we'll start dragging up a dimension. Anytime you are dragging a dimension in CAD tools, you have the ability to use the down arrow or the up arrow key to change the size of the dimension itself. We also have the T key, which will allow you to cycle through all of the styles of terminators that CAD tools offers. We also have the F key, which will let you cycle between the different formats you can have for a dimension. And finally, the last thing I wanted to show you real quick is as you are drawing any shape with any drawing tool in CAD tools, you can use the D key and the D key will toggle the in place dimensions setting, which allows you to basically at will while you're drawing something, put dimensions on it. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. And I hope this was helpful.